Hi everyone, my name is Andrea and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, so in this video, I will be wearing the newest Hourglass foundation. But before I get there, just so you are aware, this eye look that I have is from the Pat McGrath Mothership 3 palette, which is this one. I consider this like the um, purple toned palette. Oh, almost dropped it. <laughs> The purple tone palette so the colors I'm wearing that the colors that I have on my eyes are this one this one this one this and this so those um, four shades black this black one brown this is here this is this purple here and this I use as a base um, I like this eye look I think it's really nice and I'm wearing my false oh yeah oh wait, actually it's five shades I forgot this color that I popped it in the corner is this forgot about that <laughs> um, I'm wearing my um, Lily's lashes a pair of my Lily's lashes and and the waterline is my favorite hourglass black eyeliner in the shade obsidian so now let's get to the hourglass foundation so this is I just received this today this is the hourglass soft glow foundation in the shade 16.5 and this is how the foundation looks, 16.5. And it has a shelf life of 12 months, which is one year. And I did do a little test on my neck. It seems to be a similar shade, but let's see, because sometimes you just need to put it all over to really get an idea as to if you feel it's a good match for you. Um, before I put this on, I will say that this is literally um, the second time for me to try an hourglass, found, um, an hourglass foundation. The first one I tried, it was like a stick. It was like one of their foundation sticks. If someone who's familiar with hourglass cosmetics, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. This is years ago. It was like they had a foundation stick and it was like they didn't have... A good range um, when it came to the deeper end because I remember trying one where one was like too light and the other one was like too dark so it's just so for this line I will say it seems like they have a more um, expansive or extended their range when it comes to the deeper end which I'm really happy um, to see and um, and this also lets me know that they have been listening to the concerns that have been voiced by people in terms of extending the range of shades for deeper and deep and dark skin tones. So on the box, in terms of the instructions, it does say after applying primer, which I am wearing a primer, I'm wearing the, um, the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer, which is one of my favorite primer. Actually, it is not one. It is my favorite primer, to be honest. Um, after applying primer, apply the foundation to the center of the face and blend outwards using this. This comes with, you know, how brands come up with foundation. They have their own brush. So it's basically saying use it with their foundation brush. I don't have that. I'm using, I'm going to use my Sephora number 56 foundation brush. It does the same thing. Okay. If not better. <laughs> um, yeah. And then this is build into the desired level of coverage. All right, so it doesn't say shaking or anything. So I'm going to start with one pump. So this is so it's this is the applicator. This is how it looks. I'm going to pump one on my hand, one pump. Okay, that's a good amount for one pump. And I just smeared the bit of um, what was left over here. So that's a good amount there, right? Um, I usually use my fingers and dot it. And they say start blend from the center. Um, I usually do it like this. One pump might just be enough, but let's see, let's see. I'm look. I'm gonna look at my vanity mirror because um, I'm just so used to looking at my vanity mirror when I apply my foundation. Oh, this might this I might have really done have done a good job picking the right shade. Wow. This actually looks good. Like the shade, the shade. Mm. 
Okay, so and there's still some left. I need more coverage around here like usual. Okay, um, because I really want that full coverage, especially considering I'm going out today, I'm going to use another, um, another pump. Yeah, I'm going to use another pump. And I think this should be good. I'm this time, I'm just going to dip the brush a little bit and like build coverage on these areas that I need it the most, which is always here. Now this is supposed to be medium coverage. This is the rest. So, I mean, one pump wasn't bad. I could have, if I wanted to, I could have just stuck with one pump and then just um, use like concealer which i usually do anyway like i usually use a lighter concealer like under my eye area okay i am thinking i i feel i did pick the right shade okay this okay okay i do feel i feel this is like medium i'm gonna use a concealer here because that's just how it is for me but I, I mean, I would say this is like medium to full coverage with one pump, with the first pump, um, which, and I do like the fact that a, there's a good amount that does dispense. So definitely two pumps for me provided me with full coverage with the exception of this area, which I always usually need to fix anyway. Okay. So you guys get a closer look. My neck. And far away. This, okay, this looks nice. It looks nice, okay. Okay, I'm um, just wiping this with my hand. Um, let me get a concealer and just, this is neutral undertone. So I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna use my, um, a hint of my Kat Von D one that has neutral olive undertone. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys this. So this 16.5, this is, I think it's very deep with neutral undertones. Let me see, I just love the cover. Actually, this, this concealer looks a little lighter, but you know what? I'm going to use, I was going to use my hourglass um, under my eyes. Any, I mean, not hourglass, Pat McGrath um, to highlight under my eyes anyway. So, probably put too much on. Um, where's my blending brush? This is the Sonia G mini base, which you could use to like, blend your concealer yeah so this this is gonna do the job huh yeah so this does the job that I'm looking for so I'm just doing this I always that's just a habit of mine is to highlight um, under the eye area and like the cheek Okay. It doesn't seem to disrupt the foundation underneath, which is what I like. And I'm actually starting to feel hot because I, I turned off the AC, but I'm going to turn, I'm about to turn it back on because I'm starting to feel hot and I don't want to start sweating while I have this foundation on. Actually, let me turn it on right now. I'll be back. All right. 
So another product I did purchase that I do want to try out is the newest Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is an ultra, ultra blur powder. So according to this, it sets it's tack it's talc free, and it has ultra ultra, ultra blurring power. And it says this translucent powder sets makeup for 16 hours a weightless wear with a matte soft focus finish. Um, infused with ultra blurring ingredients like amino acid and silica powder blend, Laura's new formula instantly blurs away the look of pores. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> instantly blurs away the look of pores, fine lines, and imperfections with total shine control and zero photo flashback. It's this. Uh, do I have a powder puff? I think I do, but. Cause this doesn't all oh right this is how it looks um because this is my first time opening this this also just got delivered today so this is how this looks i got this in the shade medium deep so this is how it looks just so you guys see it is medium deep and this have a shelf life of 12 months as well one year so as you guys can see i have not opened it up yet i mean i do have what's that powder puff that came with my Anna Sue powder case. Uh, what did I do with it? I mean, this is it because I used it with my other Laura Mercier, um, the, the the original medium deep. I mean, this is medium deep too. I mean, so I mean, I'll just use it with this because um, I really want to make this matte. Considering it's really hot today. And I am going out, and I, and also most of all, considering I sweat a lot, so I'm just gonna peel this sticker thing off here. Ugh, it's my nails. My nails is like, I can't wait. Um, like the next time I get paid, I'm gonna take these false nails off. I'm just gonna soak them off and just stick with my own nails because I'm gonna be honest like I don't know for me as I get older I'm kind of getting I, I can't do it with these false these artificial nails like like mm -mm. <laughs> when I was younger yeah I could deal with it but as I'm getting older I'm, I'm, I'm getting less I'm becoming less tolerant of it all right so I peeled off that so um hmm, let's see how this is going to turn out it's, and it says on the instructions to use a, a velour puff um, puff anyway. I know that's yeah, that's too much. Let me just put a little bit back. Maybe maybe like this. Let's see. Okay, let me dip a little bit. So maybe swirl a little bit. I'm gonna start with my forehead. And then I go down the bridge of my nose. Under my eyes, I'm gonna bake it like I, I normally bake when I go out, and I'm gonna use the the translucent, the truly translucent original um, Laura Mercier powder I have. I also have the hourglass one, but since that's so expensive and more finely milled um, than the Laura Mercier, I tend to not use that as much. Um, unless it's, it's a very special occasion. I'm not sure if it did anything there, but I don't know. Now I'm just going to... Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't really have pores here, and I don't have pores in my forehead, but um, I'm going to go around here, too. Let me just put a little bit more of this here. Just going to swirl this around. Oh, I'm going to probably put too much there. Let you guys get a closer look. And let me look at my hand mirror here. Am I seeing things? Because it seems like some of my foundation wore off a little bit here. 
Well, you know, it wasn't the foundation. That was the Pat McGrath concealer I put there because, yeah, I need to add some more there. I'm glad I didn't powder that area yet. I'll be back. I'm just going to um, add another layer. This looks fine, but yeah, it's, some of it's wearing off here. So, I don't know why that moved. That's so weird. Okay, I'll be back, though. Okay, I'm back. So, I touched that up. So, now I'm just going to use um, some more of this Laura Mercier on my neck. I mean, this is nice. You know what? Um, I'm wondering, should I use it under my eyes? You know what? Just for the purpose of this, because I am trying this out, yes, I'm going to um, use this under my eye area as well. So I'll just put a little bit more. Because like I said, I really need to bake it because I sweat a lot. So I'm going to do it all over. Supposed to have ultra blurring power. Okay. Hmm. What do you guys think? I don't know. It's hard for me to tell. I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of hard for me to tell because um, the reason it's hard for me to tell because remember that this Vanishing Primer does a similar, the same type of job as this um, Blurring Translucent Power Powder. This also blurs pores. You know what I'm saying? I feel like even before I layered this, this um, Laura Mercier new powder on, I feel like, yeah, I'm not sure. Because I have used my original Laura Mercier products when I use this, and this looks the same. So the real, the real tester for me is maybe not using this primer, using my regular concealer foundation, and then using this to set. So it's hard for me to really tell if this truly blurs and what does it say? What does it promise to do? Blurs the, away the look of fine lines, pores, and imperfections. Yeah, I need to try this. So another day I'll do a separate video where... I will not use that primer, more than likely on the day where I'm not going out, out. And um, and I'll see if it does that, you know, because I'm really curious because um, it's hard to say because I am wearing that primer. And when I wear this primer and use the original Laura Mercier, it looks like this. So it could be the primer that's more so giving this effect. So, but just so you guys know, at least that's, at least you are aware of the other new product that I have. Let me just wipe my fingers a bit. And I'm going to be back. I'm just going to do, um, you put on some bronzer and, um, I'll be back. I'm back. So I have some light bronzer here. I put some bronzer there too. And, um, so now I, and I'll put a little bit of highlighter on the bridge of my nose. So now I'm going to use my Pat McGrath Electric Bloom Blush. Um, I did order the, the, the Danessa Myricks and the, um, the Natasha Denona mini bronze palette. It's supposed to be delivered. It's expected to be delivered this Tuesday. So I'm really looking forward to that. And, um, I 
what was the other things and oh yeah and i purchased the, the mothership 10 i did place the order for the mothership 10 i actually bought a bundle because i was like heck you know what let me just try these other products that i haven't tried and it was kind of tempting so the bundle i purchased from mother pat's website was um the mothership 10 palette with one of those last batch of newest highlighters she came out with in the shade bronze my rage my age my rage my rage i'm not sure but it's bronze something and another one i did or it also oh yeah the other product was another blush duo named cosmic coral um and the pictures it looks nice but let's see um this is lunar nude i'm gonna use this as a, this this is the highlight i have for the bridge of my nose so i'm just gonna put this on i really like this highlighter And that's what I have here on the tip on my the bridge of my nose as well. And the lipstick I am going to wear. Yes, it's from my favorite Armani satin lipstick collection that I have. I actually ordered another one. I just purchased another one, which I will be picking up in my local Sephora stores in Lower Manhattan. So that's gonna be my ninth one. This is I think what's the name this is number i think this is 506 which is i think the name of this is brave i think i'm not sure but this is a fuchsia color lipstick and i think fuchsia this is gonna look really nice with this look fuchsia The other one that I purchased, it's um number 201, which is a warm brown. I think that's what is considered warm brown color. So I'm excited to see how that one looks when I pick it up later today in the Sephora store. Yeah, this definitely looks nice with this look. This looks nice. Um, just cleaning up a little bit. Okay. Just so you guys get a closer look at my look. All right, so I'll be back. I'm a, let me spray my um, I'm gonna spray my face with my um Charlotte Tilbury spray. I dropped it and the tip broke. So I took this top from another thing I had because I this is not something you want to waste or you know what I mean? So <laughs> I was a little ghetto and I did that, but I have to do what I need to do to, you know, to continue to use this. So I'm going to spray my face with the Charlotte Tilbury spray. I'm going to put on my jewelry and stuff and fix my hair and I'll be back to talk about my thoughts of this hourglass foundation. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So, um, now let's, you know, I really like these earrings. Um, if by chance these earrings get dirty, cause you know how makeup smears and things like that. I actually bought a supplemental pair of earrings, white earrings. So <laughs> just, um, I just had to say that real quick. So, um, in terms of this foundation, um, for one, I will say I'm glad that I feel this is a good shade that matches me. I also looked at my bathroom mirror. It does look a, like, like a really good match for me. Um, I am sweating still, although I have the AC on, it's just so hot. But even though I am sweating, it's still looking nice. Now, I don't know if that's because I have that Laura Mercier setting powder on, but um, nonetheless, when I did first apply this foundation, um, it was it looked really nice. I like the fact that you get a good amount of product from the first dis disbursement of um, From the first disbursement you get a good amount of product. I would definitely say this is like medium to full coverage um, It's definitely one pump. I would say is medium coverage and um, I think I mentioned this earlier I could have just left it at one pump and just use concealer or whatever But I wanted to get a more a full coverage look so that's why I use two pumps to get achieve that full look and then of course I use concealer on this area here 
and um <clears throat> now it says soft glow i mean i did see a glow when i put it on um I mean, a, a minimal glow, minimal, I want to say is like out there, but it, it, it was a minimal glow, I feel, when I first put it on, and um, I guess I'll see how my night goes on. The time now, it's, about, it's going on 6 p.m., my time, um, as the night goes on, um, maybe I'll, if, depending on the circumstance, maybe I'll try to make a little mini video clip to see how the foundation is holding up. Um, because, yeah, I'm just curious, like, how will this look in two hours, maybe four hours or whatever, you know. So, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are the, if you are watching my video for the first time, if you enjoyed it as well, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. I would love for you to be a part of my community. And um, otherwise, I, I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you for everyone who's been watching my videos and being committed to it. I greatly appreciate all the love and support and your feedback as well. Thank you. Bye.